The unfortunate tale of Franz Reichelt is indeed heartbreaking. It's remarkable that even the death of a French tailor from the 19th century can impart valuable insights into the field of software engineering. Franz Reichelt was a French tailor and inventor who had a strong passion for pioneering parachuting. During the years 1910 to 1912, Reichelt created a wearable suit for pilots that would expand into a parachute in case of an emergency. He was inspired by the work of André Jacques Garnerin, who was the first to develop a frameless parachute design and test it successfully. Reichelt was confident in his ability to develop a wearable version of the frameless parachute, which he believed would greatly increase its potential. In the beginning, he created wing designs using silk that could be folded. To test his designs, he used dummies and dropped them from the fifth floor of his apartment building in Paris. Although the initial tests were promising, he faced difficulty when he attempted to make a wearable suit from his design. His main focus was on making the canopy larger while reducing the weight. He applied to various organizations for funding but was unsuccessful. Nevertheless, he continued with his studies and performed several test jumps from low launch points, approximately 10 meters or 32 feet high. To test his designs, Reichelt believed that higher launch points were necessary. This would enable the dummies to achieve the required speed for the parachute to function properly and slow their descent. He decided to target the first deck of the Eiffel Tower, which was approximately 57 meters, or 187 feet, above the ground a height that was five times greater than his previous launch points. After obtaining permission for a test jump in early 1912, he informed the media that the jump would occur on February 4th of that same year. It was believed by authorities that Reichelt would use a dummy for his demonstration. However, upon arriving at the tower in his suit, he announced that he would be jumping himself. The chief of police stated that if they had known it was going to be a live jump, they would not have allowed it. Despite attempts by his friends to discourage him, Reichelt remained resolute. Initially, the police were hesitant to allow him to climb to the tower platform, but eventually gave in. After hesitating for about 40 seconds, Reichelt finally leaped into the air with his suit partially deployed. A devastating incident occurred when Reichelt attempted to jump with a malfunctioning parachute in front of spectators. The video footage of the event shows a shapeless fabric trailing behind him as he plummets to his death. The reason behind his decision to take such a risk is still unclear, with some speculating that he may have felt pressured to attract sponsors. However, this seems unlikely since sponsors would have still supported the project had it been tested with a dummy, provided that the suit design had been successful. The tragic end to Reichelt's story remains a mystery. Franz Reichelt was one of many who tragically lost their lives attempting to achieve safe human flight. Although his confidence in his invention was admirable, his decision was ultimately reckless and he paid the ultimate price. Thank you for watching. Hope enjoy the video and please subscribe and hit the like button.